what are we making here, Chef? Um, I'm just uh, molding up some aniseed panna cotta for a function that we've got tonight. Um, it's a mix of cream, milk, infused with star anise and vanilla. And then it's had gelatine added to it. And I'll pour it into these moulds and then allow it to set in the fridge for about four or five hours. And then tonight I'll demold them with a mixed berry compote and sesame twine biscuit. Okay, now that the um, panna cotta is set in the fridge, except for about four or five hours, as I said previous, we're now going to demold it, uh, place it into a container of hot water, just for about five, six seconds, just to heat up around the edge. See, that's now starting to come away from the edges. Then turn it over with a little shake, place it into the serving bowl, we're then going to add some uh, fresh berries around the outside, so we're just finishing them up. We've got a mix of fresh strawberries, raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. So now just going to place a nice little selection of them around the outside. Cotter. You could obviously use whichever seasonal fruits you want, be they autumnal berries, summer berries, or summer fruits. Now, over the top of the berries, I made a strawberry coulis, which is a mix of strawberries, some sugar, and some water, with a little bit of vanilla in there. And then just pour that over. Just to give a little bit of a sauce to the dish. Just purely as a little garnishing touch, some little deep fried mint leaves. And then just to finish the dish, a little dusting of ice and sugar, just to add some sweetness. There we go, an aniseed panna cotta with a seasonal fruit combo.